Eddie Cochran was once dubbed James Dean with the guitar, and the comparison was perfect. He was the young and rebellious heartthrob that had an exquisite talent when it came to making music. Eddie had a plethora of hits, whether it was Summertime Blues, Something Else, or my personal favorite, Come On Everybody, which I'm pretty sure at one point was the background song of an Applebee's commercial. The influence Eddie had on rock music is massive, and he had a lot of artists cover his songs. Sid Vicious and the Sex Pistols, The Who, Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, Paul McCartney knowing the chords 220 Flight Rock, which was a massive Eddie Cochran song, actually led John Lennon to invite him into his band, The Quarrymen, which would later evolve into The Beatles. Eddie's death was just incredibly heartbreaking and incredibly tragic. Uh, he was already shaken up by the loss of his two close friends in the plane crash a year before, Buddy Holly and Richie Valens. He would go on to make a record about those guys called Three Stars. Gene Vincent was Eddie Cochran's best friend and would say that Eddie never recovered from it. He was depressed, demoralized, he had premonitions that he was going to die young just like his friends did and he couldn't talk himself out of it. Just over a year after the plane crash, Eddie would meet the same fate as a taxi driver would lose control of his car with Eddie and his wife inside. They were approaching a light post at over 60 miles an hour. Eddie would jump in front of his wife to shield her. He would then get launched from the car and would die from a severe brain injury at the age of 21. Tragic was definitely an understatement. I imagine this was to the point now where it was unbelievable. We had now lost four young music sensations, all under the age of 30, and all within a 14-month span. There is a massive plaque in uh, Roden Hill, Chippenham, marking the site of that April 1960 crash that ended the life of Eddie Cochran. In 1987, Eddie was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and if you go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio, you can actually see his orange Gretsch 6120 Chet Atkins hollow body orange guitar on display as well. In 2003, Rolling Stone magazine ranked him number 84 on their top 100 guitarists of all times list, and for a guy who only had a career for about 5-6 years, it's actually pretty damn solid. Bell's Garden, California was the home of Eddie Cochran for the last 7 years of his life, and they would go on to name October 3rd Eddie Cochran Day in tribute. Just this year, Albert Lee in Minnesota, which was the birthplace of Eddie Cochran, would go on to name a street after him in tribute. Eddie has been gone for 60 plus years, but through our endless resources and his incredible legacy of being that young rebellious heartthrob that tragically lost his life too early, his legacy and music will always live on.